Okay, so let's talk about personal protective equipment. Okay, um, so with this um, this personal protective equipment, we're going to be talking about why what equipment should be used. Okay, so what we're using. So we're just going to go by this one at a time. Um, the first thing we want to cover is our eyes. Okay, so I got my little uh, representative here. Shout out to you. Um, I don't know Becky with the long hair. Okay. Um, so we got our eyes. First thing we're just going to talk about eyes. Uh, you need to wear your goggles. Okay. So it's mandatory to have on some type of eye protection. Okay. It's mandatory. That's not, I'm not leaning away from that. You need to have on goggles or safety glasses, something on your eyes at all times. Okay. Um, and then in this demonstration, this person here, my Becky with the long hair, we can see that she has on her goggles. Okay. We got on the goggles for a couple of different reasons, but what's the reason you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think it is. Okay. Let me know in the comments. Someone put down something in the comments. Why do we have on goggles? Okay. Let me tell you why. Okay. If you're not sure. And if you know another reason, put it in the comments. Let me know. But goggles are going to protect our eyes. It's all about covering as much body as we can. Okay. Um, Reminds me of Gimme Body. Y'all know Beyonce got me going with this Becky with the long hair. All right. So, anywho, uh, goggles. Cover your eyes. Protect yourself from the splashes that can come from chemicals, right? Because if you don't have no type of protection on your eyes, right, it's just open. Chemicals can splash in there. Get in your eyes. You're doomed. Okay? You're not going to see ever again. Another thing we have to talk about is protecting your skin. Okay, so you definitely, it's mandatory to wear clothing that covers as much body as possible. Why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? Let me know in the comments. I'm about to tell you here though now, right? It's because protection of skin, protection of skin, right? The more exposed you are, the more likely you are to um, get chemicals on your skin, which we want to avoid with all these chemicals. We just went over the hazard warnings. So why will we get this hazardous material on our bodies? All right, our bodies are temples. We don't want to degrade our bodies in that way. All right. Okay, so uh, for instance, there's a couple of different ways we can protect our body. I um, mean, we look at this example, my girl Becky with the long hair. She got the um, shirt on, okay, and then she has on long pants. This is perfectly fine, okay? Uh, you want to make sure your pants are covering your legs, okay, to your ankles, so your ankles are covered. Um, also, notice that she don't got no, none of, no crop tops, nothing like that, so the stomach isn't exposed. No holes in the clothes, so she's not, she's not being a fashion forward uh, person, but she's safe, right? So, uh, you always want to make sure there's no holes in there. Um, and then your shirt is covering your shoulders, okay? Um, and then we can see over here, some different things I, that you could potentially use. So any shirt covering your shoulders is fine. Um, you don't necessarily need long sleeves, so I am okay if you don't have long sleeves, just as long as it's covering you know most of your arms there. Like I said, you do have your risk of exposure, okay, if you don't want to wear a long sleeve shirt. Um, that's why we have lab coats, okay? So make sure to get that lab coat as well. Um, and if you don't want to necessarily wear like Types of pants, you know, you could all types of pants you need to have on this like jeans or scrub pants. I had certain people who literally bought some scrub pants, right? They put the pants on uh, and then they just leave after. So you got on shorts or something, it's hot day. All right, let me just get these scrub pants, put them on when I'm coming to lab, and then let me leave right after. Okay. Uh, so shorts, shorts or short skirts aren't going to work. Tank tops aren't going to work. Uh, muscle shirts, halter tops, none of that stuff is going to work because it's exposing your skin. We're trying to avoid that exposure. And then lastly, leggings. Well, Dr. J, what about leggings? You know, all of my legs are covered, right? Ha ha ha. No, you cannot wear leggings. Now, let me tell you the reason why. And I heard about this story. This story, I saw this story happen. Okay, story time. Um, with leggings, there was an individual, okay, it was a girl, because she was wearing leggings. It doesn't not, not necessarily mean, but you know, she was a girl in this case. But she had on leggings, so once again, not loose-fitting pants, leggings are. Um, this particular person uh, had those leggings on, 
that we're dealing with a very hazardous material, okay? Um, and what we see with leggings, and this is an example that has happened to other universities too. Um, but in this example, this girl, she has some chemicals, um, hazardous material. This did, and then also, let me tell y'all, this didn't happen in my class, okay? I heard about this. It's not happening. It's not happening. I just heard about it. So keep everybody safe. But this girl had the leggings on. And the chemicals got on her leggings. She thought she was good, right? Until, right, what are leggings? They're tight right on the skin. So basically when that material got on the leggings, it basically got on her skin, right? Um, she eventually went to the bathroom, had to get that stuff off, take the leggings off, and then she got third degree burn, okay? Just because it's skin tight and basically with leggings, you, you might as well say you're getting chemicals on your skin. That's the reason why this loose fit, loose fitting pants is key, man. So no leggings, no leggings. Um, also, protecting your feet. Okay, so it's mandatory to wear shoes that are closed toe and heel. Okay, so we're not coming in loud with uh, uh, no flip flops, no sandals, no open toe shoes, no Crocs. Even though I heard they're comfortable, I don't got no Crocs. But um, or high heels or slings. Okay. Um, so, like I mentioned before, if you know you have to go to a function right after, uh, have that in your bag ready to go, and, and then, you know, just have your separate lab clothes. Okay, so if you come to lab, just have a separate change. I've seen people do it. It works. Um, and then you can immediately after change into whatever you have to when you're done with lab, and then go do whatever you got to do. Okay, um, I haven't. Now, high heels, I've seen people have high heels in the lab, um, but no high heels, okay? Uh, it's just, it could just lead to problems. So you flip a fall. Then I got to explain that my student had high heels. So, and then I'm, I got this whole video up explaining personal protective equipment. They didn't listen. So, yeah, just keep it simple with boots or sneakers or loafers, something like that. Keep it simple.